Hello guys, it's me, Bad Jokes, back at you once again with another video. And today, guys, we've got episode number nine of my Building a Nation Challenge series here on Football Manager 2020, where I am managing not just Mumbai City FC, but also the Indian national team as well, as we attempt to make both of them the best teams in the world. And you are going to be seeing games involving both of those teams today as my Mumbai City side take on Kerala Blasters in a big league game today. And as well as that, we've got India taking on Tajikistan in World Cup qualifying. We need to get a win because qualifying has been disastrous thus far. And before we do get into those games, you can see we're carrying right on from the last episode where we did beat Bengalaru, first team in the league to beat them this season. So that was a very positive result. But before we do get into that, uh, you might have seen from the title that, yeah, I've signed Ronaldo. And not any old Ronaldo, I've signed a Brazilian Ronaldo. Let's go and have a look at him. And I have splunked most of my transfer budget on him. £80,000 we have paid for him. But he looks decent. He looks very decent, I think. Our, co our coaches and our scouts both rate him at 4.5 star current ability. He's going to be making his debut for us today. He's 28 years old, so he's in his prime. He's got 11 finishing, 11 first touch. 12 composer, 12s for bravery, anticipation and aggression as well. He's got okay physicals, not, uh, not out of this world, but for the level we're at, I think he is quite good. And he popped up on my scout reports, and as soon as I saw his name was Ronaldo and he was Brazilian, I was like, I've got to go and get him, I've got to get him, just so I can clickbait the title. But then, it turns out, he's not bad. He started the season in the Malaysian League playing for Perak and he's got five goals from eight appearances so far in that league. And last season, he got seven from 20 games. So not terrible. And so I thought I would bring him in, have a look at him. And so, yeah, he's going to be making his debut today. Um, that does mean, unfortunately, that Adam Marriott is going to have to be sold just so we can keep within our limits of foreign players. So, that's a little bit of a shame, but Adam Marriott, I'll show you him. He's had 14 sub-appearances, 6 starts, and he's only got the one competitive goal. Not gone for him how I hoped it would with what a legend he is in the Kingsland save. Here is the team for today's game. We have got Subratapal in goal. Bose is at left back. He is leaving us at the end of the season. Where is he going? He is going to uh, Kolkata. He's going there at the end of the season. Little bit of a shame because he has been our first choice left back. But I think he'll be replaceable in the summer. So I'm not that upset about it. And then in the middle, we've got Jingen and Gurdjic keeping their place as ever pretty much in the centre of our defence. Takraborty is at right back. Yes, he is. And so, in the middle of the pitch, we've got Fernandez, Mercado and Borges. Nemecha got himself sent off, I think it was, in the last game. And so, he misses this one out. So, that's why Mercado comes in for him. And then it's Daxina Murphy on the left-hand side. DiMaggio Wright-Phillips on the right, as ever. And it is the Brazilian Ronaldo up front. This should be a very decent game. I'm hoping for a win. I think we can get it. We've been in very, very good form as of late. And we have got Mohamed on the bench. The man from Man City. Just in case Ronaldo's debut does not go to plan. And so, let's go and get into the bookmakers' predictions. The bookmakers have us as the favourites. 6-4 to four to win it. We've won our last two games. They've won three of their last five, but it's been very inconsistent. You can see there, win, draw, win, loss, win. So, we're in a little bit of better form. So, I would hope that we can get the win today. Now, let's go and get 
into the dressing room. Here we are in the dressing room. As ever, my assistant is just sitting there playing on his phone or whatever. I ask him for some opposition instructions and he goes, what, you want some of them? No chance, mate. So here we go, team talk. Uh, come on, lads, show me what you can do to keep our run going. Or have we got, I want you to pick up where you left off. No, we haven't. Okay, so come on, lads, show me what you can do. No reaction there. And then I want some more from you. And some more from you. Not any real reaction as of yet. Ronaldo looks happy, so that is good. Prediction time. Kerala are higher than us in the league. Uh, you know what? 2 0 win. I'm feeling confident. Come on, Mumbai. First highlight of the game 15 minutes in is Kerala with the corner. Kill Kenny to take it. And it goes into the box and the header has gone just over the bar. Almost half hour gone now. Kerala with the ball. They're keeping it quite nicely there. They cross it in. Kilkenny with the header. It's hit the bar. And Singh just does what he should do and hoofs the ball here out of the pitch. And it's going to be another corner ball. You can see by the stats, Kerala have been all over us thus far. Kilkenny this time with an outswinger. Gurdjieff heads the ball away. And it's Singh with the ball. Can we get this one back? Come on, please. And now it's Gakwad. And that ends that. Just about a minute or two later, Mikado now has the ball for us. Goes out wide. Daxina Murphy on the left. Cuts inside. Goes for the shot. And the keeper's made the save. And it goes out for our first corner. Well, it's the first corner we've seen. Apparently, it's the third one we've had. And it's going to be Mikado with an outswinger of his own. And that gets headed away. And now Gurdjieff with the ball. And uh, nothing happens with that. Oh, non-stop highlights now. Kilkenny with a free kick. And he's just curled that a bit too much wide past our goal. Thank God. Five minutes to half time. Singh with the ball to Laman Pula. Singh, Larby, our old fella there. Can we win the ball back? No, we can't. And what a pass and what a goal that would have been. And that is the half-time whistle. It's still nil-nil. Some would say we're quite lucky to still be level in this game. We've had just four shots, two there, 11. Two on target apiece. They've had the one clear-cut chance. And possession has been very 50-50. And so let's go team talk. I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do the team talk first and then we're going to see about changing the tactics. So I'm going to go assertive. Uh, I'm not happy because I'm really not. We've not been playing that well. And now let's see, what can I change? Might go for a bit more direct passing and try for hit early crosses. And then try and play the ball down the wings, I think. I think having DiMaggio right Phillips, you want to try and get the ball to him as much as possible. And so, let's go standard line of engagement, or do we want higher? I think we want standard. Leave it at that. And now, let's go and get into the second half. Come on, let's just get us a win. And actually, one last thing. Let's try and talk to Ronaldo. No real reaction from him there. And so, yep, come on, Mumbai. Five minutes into the second half is them with the first chance. And the ball is scrambled into the back of the net there. Saiti Asun Singh with his second of the season. And that was just some awful defending there from our lads. Let's check this out again on the replay. Pula put the ball in and not quite sure how it got to Singh, but it did. And he had an open goal, so he was never going to miss that one. And now immediately after that, we've got a throw in. Takraborty to Mikado. Takraborty down our right hand side. He plays it inside to Mikado, who is in space. Can he play the ball forward? He can play it sideways. Goes to DeMarge right Phillips, who does play it forward. Ronaldo tries to flick it on, but there's nobody there. And now Larby, two goat quad. And now come on, play the ball forward. Can we get this back? Nazari, no, yeah, Nazari with the ball. And Gargi, what is Gargi doing there? He's gone in two-footed. 
Oh, and for the second game in a row, it looks like we're going to go down to 10 men. What was he thinking there? Come on, referee, be lenient. Come on, ref, be lenient. He's not been lenient. And, oh, this team. Oh, my days. Okay. Okay, so I know what we do. We take Borges off. Borges can go there. Mercado can stay there. And Borges, get him off for Anwar Ali, or do we want Galoy? I think we might want Galoy. I think he's played more for us this season than Anwar Ali, off the top of my head. Mm, I don't know. Oh, we'll go for Ali. We'll go for Ali. And we'll see what that does. And we'll push Mohamed on in place of Ronaldo. And now we will just go direct passing. Play it through the middle and just play fairly narrow. And yep, yeah, I think shoot on sight as well. And yep, yeah, leave everything like that. We've got to go attacking if we want to try and win this game. And so, yep, half an hour, well, 35 minutes left to go. Let's see if what's going to happen now. 62 minutes on the clock. Singh throws the ball to Santu. Back to Singh. And now what's Singh going to do with it? He goes inside, goes to Kilkenny, who has quite a bit of space. He plays it down the wing. And Nazari keeps the ball in, but Chakraborty gets it away. And now can DiMaggio get onto this? Yes, he can. And can he run at their defence? He is. He's into the box. Can he take the man? Oh, he doesn't need to. He's tried for the shot and it's hit the bit of between the post and the bar and come out. What's that called, the bit between the bar and the post? Stanchion? Is that what it's called? I have no idea. Answers down below. Rolos. Absolute Rolos. That is the full-time whistle. We have lost it 1-0. Two Kerala Blasters. And I think most of the stats indicate that they deserve to win it. We had 10 shots to their 15. Still only three on target apiece. But they had the two clear-cut chances. They had 54% of the ball. And more importantly, they didn't have a man sent off, did they? Absolutely terrible performance from us there. I think you can agree. So let's go team talk. Let's go assertive. You were not good enough today. A few lads with a little bit of reaction there. And now let's go assertive. Come on. Um, disappointed. Disappointed. Again, no real reaction. And so... Uh, I'll be back with you guys in a minute for the India versus Tajikistan game. See you then. Here we are, guys. We're back with the India team. And let's just get you caught up on how things have been going with the India national team so far in this series. And as you can see, qualification is not going well. We have played five games and we only have four points. We lost to Tajikistan in what I think was our last game in charge of India. Let me just double check that. Was it our last game? No, it wasn't. It was our penultimate game before this one. But yet we've lost to Tajikistan, lost, drew with Cambodia, sorry, and lost to Kuwait and Saudi Arabia. The only team we've beaten is Cambodia. And as you can see on the league table, where's it gone? That's the team. I don't want to show you that just yet. Uh, where's the league table? There it is. Everybody is beating Cambodia. So, we really need an upturn in our form today. And so, let's go and have a look at the team, which can hopefully get us a better result today. We have got Sandhu in goal, Bose at left-back, Gallot and Jingen is our centre-back pairing, Kotel is our right-back, Kuranian on the left. Nazari, who did just cause us quite a few problems for our Mumbai team. He is in at right back. And then in the middle, we've got Fapa and Abdul Samad. Surely that can't be how you pronounce his name. Tapa? Fa it looks like Fapa. It looks weird. But that is how apparently I think it's pronounced. And then up top, we have got Sunil Chetri and Gigi up top hopefully we can get a better result today not really feeling that confident 
but let's go and get into the bookmakers prediction for this one the bookmakers have Tajikistan as the favorites they are four to six to win it I don't know why there's no recent form for either of us you can see our form on the league table so bookmakers being lazy they're not really doing our own work but yeah Tajikistan are the favorites and this is going to be played in front of 17,000 people. So a decent little crowd there. And so, yep, yeah, let's go and get into this one. Come on, India. All right, we're in the dressing room. Again, my assistant here is lazy as well. I've got to get these people off their mobile phones. And I'm going to say to the boys, I know a lot of you will be keen to avenge what happened when we last played Tajikistan. A few people reacting there. I think there's a lot more to come from you there's a lot more to come from you and there's a lot more to come from you like, nobody else has reacted and so prediction time 2-1 us 2-1 us come on india five minutes into the game tajikistan with the first corner we managed to get the ball out but they're gonna get it back into the box it looks like sultanov with the ball he does indeed get it back in and we need to clear this we are making a pig's ear out of getting rid of that. And that was awful. That was some of the worst defending I've seen in a while. That was just terrible. We had two or three chances to get rid of that ball. We could have got rid of it there. We could have got rid of it there. We could have got rid of it there. And, well, as soon as Muata had that ball in space, he was always going to take that on. 15 minutes in now, Tajikistan coming forward once again, Haliov with the ball, Sultanov once again with it, goes for another long shot, but thankfully this time Sandu is able to make the save. 37 minutes in, and it seems we finally have our first highlight, our free kick goes forward, and he, he's got it, he's gone for the long shot, and we're level, completely against the run of play, with our first shot of the game, GG with a fantastic goal there, let's check this one out on the replay, Jingen just hoofed it long. Tutri flicked it on. We was lucky their defender couldn't head it. Gigi just smashed it first time and went past their keeper's outstretched hand. And now, what can we do before half time? Can we do absolutely anything? Not looking like it, is it, lads? And that is the half time whistle. Tajikistan have completely dominated us. 12 shots, 2 are 3, 5 on target, 2 are 1. No clear-cut chances for either side. Possession's been very even. And so, can we get into the second half and can we get an unlikely win? I'm going to go assertive. I'm going to go... Uh, if everyone continues to work hard, we'll win this. No reaction there. Come on. You've got more... You've got what it takes. No, reaction. Why do these boys not listen to me? That's not very nice. And so, you know what? With that long pass having worked, that's what we're going to do. We're going to go extremely direct and see what that does for us. Go a bit more narrow. And yet, leave it at that. And then second half. Come on, come on. I would love a win. 52 minutes gone. Sultanov with the first highlight of this second half. Tursunov's in the box and he's put that in. Oh, he's not put it in the back of the net. He's hit the post and we've managed to survive. An hour gone now. Stosic, their keeper, with the long ball. And Tajikistan are keeping the ball very nicely here. But we head it away on that occasion. And now Jalov with the ball. Can we win this back? Come on, lads. Doesn't look like it at the minute. Jurabov. To Nazarov. And now oh, they're in. And that is them taking the lead. Why has our keeper dived that way? Our keeper has gone completely the wrong way there. Oh, this is painful. This is so, so painful, boys. Oh, let's have another look at this. It was their man here with the pot with the pass. The poof. What on earth is a poof? I'm losing my words here as we are losing our ability to play football. Well, following that goal, we've made a couple of changes. We've gone for a 4-2-4 formation. Amrajit Singh has come on in place of Fapa. 
in the advanced playmaker role. And Nazari has gone off for Chowdhury. We need something to happen here. And we're going to go direct passing again. Just see what that does. And hit early crosses and shoot on sight. And yep guys, let's see what this can do. Would love a draw. Just a draw. That's all I want. Oh, 20 minutes left. Singh now gets the ball off our throw in. And somehow manages to keep it. Both with the cross and us with the head up. But way too easy for Stosic to catch it. And now the highlights, not over, it's carrying on. He he almost got the ball there. Halov goes all the way back to his keeper. And now what's his keeper going to do here? Taking his sweet time with it. He goes over the top and they keep hold of it. Mawata to Juabov. And now, come on, get this ball back. We have, and can Chaldry get onto this? No, he can't. Oh, he does. No, he doesn't. He's had a bit of a battle there and he's lost it. And so it's Tajikistan still with the ball. Very long highlight this. Singh now goes over the top. And oh, we're in again. He, he is in. Can he do it again? He hasn't. He's been saved there by Stosic. As they now clear it away. Oh, he, he's been our best player today, I think. Okay, 10 minutes left. Sunil Chetri's looking really tired, so we've taken him off for Manveer Singh, who's now going to be operating as a pressing forward. Ten minutes left. We, we've had a chance. Can we get another one and nick an unlikely draw? Four minutes left, and we've got a highlight here. Singh all oh, tries to cross it, but absolutely misses the ball there. That is the quality I am working with at the minute. Oh, my days. I think I could get a go in this team at the minute. And now Tajikistan coming forward. Chorayev with the ball. Goes back to Zorabov. But we get it. Cut out. Forward. And Singh makes no effort to get onto that ball. And come on. Come on. Get the ball. Come deep for it. Why is he not coming deep? Jesus Christ. These lads don't know how to play with each other. Shakalov with the ball, crosses it in. Jingen heads it away. And Chorayev with it. And oh, that is... Oh, I, I was going to lose my shit if that had gone in. Still three and a half minutes left. We're now in injury time. Shultanov with the ball. We get it away. Nazarov. Come on, win this back. It's taken a block. And now somebody run. Well... That is the full-time whistle. It's another defeat. 19 shots to R11. 9 on target they've had to R6. 3 clear-cut chances to R1. And possession has been 50-50. Let's get into the dressing room. Let's go team talk. Let's go assertive. Uh, just one of those days. Try and keep the morale up. They've got confidence, so that is one good thing to come out of this. And so, let's have a look and see how things are looking for Mumbai in the league. And then we'll see when we're going to come back for the next episode. Before we look at how Mumbai are getting on in the league, uh, you can see here in our World Cup qualifying group, we're probably going to be finishing fourth unless an absolute disaster happens because we've only got two games left. We now can't catch Tajikistan, and so hopefully we're not going to fall behind Cambodia, you would hope. And now for Mumbai, we are still 8th in the league, and it's very, very tight around here. We might still be able to get 5th, or maybe even 4th if things go really well for us. And so how many league games do we have left? We've only got the 4 left. I think I'm going to play Chennai and East Bengal off camera. And then Friday's episode will be against Goa and Guwahati. And so guys, if you've enjoyed that video, 
please pop a mohusive like down below. Subscribe to the channel for more Football Manager 20 content. We've got not only this save, we've got the Kingslin Walks to Prem save and the FM20 5 Years On series, which will be back on Wednesday. And as well as that, on Wednesday as well, we're going to have the Pro Evo Real Madrid Classic League series that will be back on Wednesday. So very much looking forward to all of that good stuff. And as well as that, check me out on Twitter at Bad Jokes Gaming. And check out all the Passion for FM lads. All the details are down below. As well as that, check out the Passion for FM Discord, Twitter, website. I think that's everything. I can't remember. There's something else. But it'll be on, on the screen right now. It's all there. I'm losing my mind because we're losing games. But anyway, guys, that is where I am going to leave it. I shall see you tomorrow for a very big episode in the Kings Lynn Walks to Prem series. See you later. Bye.